Democracy now. Those are the words written on signs held by young Israelis in the streets of Tel Aviv on Saturday. Waving rainbow flags and carrying torches, thousands of protesters marched against Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu's new government, considered one of the most right-wing in the country's history. I came to protest to defend my future as an Israeli and as a Jew that wants to live in a democratic and safe country. I'm sure that this, uh, this demonstrations will, will grow and grow and grow and at the end will oust this government. Netanyahu took office last month after winning the elections back in November. The 73-year-old prime minister, who is fighting corruption charges in court, has served as premier longer than anyone else. He is now at the head of a coalition with extreme right and ultra-Orthodox Jewish parties. The new government has announced worrisome policies that include expanding settlements in the occupied West Bank, introducing a program that allows parliament to override decisions of the Supreme Court, and social reforms that are raising concern among the LGBTQ community. And we can see right now uh, many laws being uh, advocated for against LGBTQ, against Palestinians, against larger minorities in Israel. And we are here to say loud and clear that all of us, Arabs and Jews and different various communities inside of Israel, demand peace, equality, justice for all of us. And that this is the home of all of us and we're going to fight for it. The opposition has accused the government of endangering Israel's entire legal system and says the latest reforms undermine its democratic institutions.